because someone has disgraced the South. <laughs> and you know, don't you boo. <laughs> I, I went out to dinner uh, with my wife last night. We went to this uh, place downtown everyone talks about. It's uh, called Babo. You lie! N <laughs> this, this guy from South Carolina, a congressman, be begins to heckle the guy. And I thought, okay, so now Governor Mark Sanford is the second most embarrassing politician from South Carolina. <laughs> Republican Congressman Joe Wilson's apologized for calling President Obama a liar during his speech on health care. Yeah. Obama accepted Wilson's apology, then invited him to appear before a death panel. But that was not yeah. What about a little bit of stand-up? You know, he, the president should go out and hone his material in some comedy clubs and stuff like that and deal with hecklers. Obama should have said, Hey, buddy, did I come to your state and knock the wiener out of your governor's mistress? It's amazing. This guy was able to sit through seven years of President Bush telling him everything in Iraq is fine, but without a peep. But last night, he yells out, You lie. Now, back, back when, when George Bush was president, Democrats in Congress, to be fair, they would occasionally go, boo. But President Bush never took it personally. He just thought Congress was haunted. <laughs> Even his fellow Republicans were horrified. He apologized immediately after the speech. He said he was watching um, Gossip Girls on his iPod. And... That's what the category is here. Uh, top 10 South Carolina representative Joe Wilson excuses. Oh. Uh, number 10. Uh, shouldn't have gone tailgating before the speech. I guess not. <laughs> Uh, number nine, Ashton Kutcher put me up to it. <laughs> number eight was trying to impress that hellcat Nancy Pelosi. <laughs> number seven, uh, thought I was in the audience at Maury. You are not. You lie. In case you missed it, when the speech aired live, they didn't have a camera on the guy, but um, they went back and they put the camera shot in. Look at this. Also those who claim that our reform efforts would ensure illegal immigrants. This, too, is false. The reforms, the reforms I'm proposing would not apply to those who are here illegal. Oh, sorry, Mr. President. I was talking about my favorite month. And it's not August. It's not September. It is July. You don't scream, you lie. I mean, I remember the time it happened to uh, John McCain. Remember when he hollered bingo? And that was a... That was a different... You don't stand up in the middle of Congress and go, oh, no, you did not. <laughs> what the hell is wrong with you? This is, you know, he said his emotions got the better of him. Sometimes I want to have sex with a hooker, but I don't. <laughs> This inspired the great John Cleese of Monty Python's Flying Circus and to my continuing astonish astonishment, our audience, to offer up this poem about Hannity, which he has somehow entrusted me to read. Lights, please. An ode to Sean Hannity, aping urbanity, oozing with vanity, plump as a manatee, faking humanity, journalistic calamity, intellectual inanity, Fox Noise insanity, you're a profanity, Hannity.